Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs Cassette Carnage. And today we are blasting the new Ascended Dead Abhorrent Manifestation LP on Dark Descent and Invictus Productions. Holy shit, does this roll? This is some San Diego based California death metal. So fucking good. Like I said, a bunch lately. I'm so impressed with the California death metal scene right now. It's just in fucking credible and Ascended Dead just kill it on this release. So get into this. I will put a link below. And um, yeah, so let's jump into this, shall we? But this is awesome here because when I first found out about this band and listened to it, I was seriously like, holy shit. Like, what? And what I'm talking about is the members, um, I think it's three members of Coffins who are one of the most crushing, heavy death doom bands out of Japan, made this god flesh worshiping act called Oozpus. And uh, this is the Light Mania tape. And this is just a three song EP, which I guess led up to their 2017 release of Your Limit. And uh, I'm not sure if uh, Your Limit came out or not. This features an alternative version on one of the three tracks. And as you could see, they went all out on the God Flesh worship from the artwork and everything, the sound. Oh my God, they captured Justin's vocals. They got fucking Ben's bass tone. Not sure if they use a live drummer or not. You can't really tell. But if you know Godflesh, then the OG drum kit from hell. But you just have it on plain white and I'm pretty sure it's the same thing on both sides of the tape. Just because it's an EP and it's uh, pretty short. But it gets straight to the fucking point. If you like God Flesh and Swans and pretty much just crushing, like, non new metal influenced in industrial music, you are going to eat this up. But it's more for fans of God Flesh, especially God Flesh, Street Cleaner, self titled, and I would even say Messiah error of God Flesh, including A World Lit Only by Fire, their their latest comeback release, which I think is fucking phenomenal. I, I love that album and I'm I got to see Jezu live and I, I missed fucking God Flesh and I'm still kicking myself in the ass because Justin Broderick to me is a fucking genius, like seriously. And on the J card you just had this I'm not okay, which is just awesome. Especially since, since we just have three tracks of crushing God Flesh and Swans worship on here. It's just heavy, unsettling, killer fucking tunes. And I love this stuff because I love God Flesh. And I love when bands, like I've said before, bands that are also in other bands I like they come out with these side projects that are just so fucking impressive and it just goes to show that hey you don't need to just play death doom your whole life like if you want to experiment that doesn't mean that the dudes in coffins were like hey you know what this death doom thing that's been working for us for a very long time let's just switch it up and you know make it make our next record or split or whatever sound like god flesh and let's just change the name and everything no they did it the right way they made a side project and that side project after this ep blew up for the most part from the little bit of research i did yeah like these guys are you know really going down the right path of the underground especially when it comes to bands of this caliber like people were really going after god flesh back in the day like trying to get them onto you know a bigger label like 
And Justin's one of those guys that he pretty much like was going to do like one of the biggest tours of Godflesh's career and he like had a panic attack and for years that was the end of Godflesh and it was a bummer and shit. It's like, oh man, like I think it might have been like they were doing like a headlining tour. I forget. Something happened and uh Justin just was like, you know what? Like I'm done or and it sucked. But for years you didn't hear anything out of the Godflesh camp. It seemed like Justin was just fucking with the heaviest shoegaze in the world at that point in time with Jesus um heart work uh oh my god I forget the name of his uh debut I'm sorry but uh I honestly forget off the top of my head but uh it might be the self-titled actually but I know there was some there was an EP before the self-titled that still sounded a lot like Godflesh and I'm sorry I'm talking about Jezu and Godflesh. I should be talking about Japan's Ooze Puss a little bit more. And this is the Light Mania tape. Like I said, you just have three tracks on here of straight up Godflesh and Swans worship. If you don't know who Godflesh and Swans are, this is a pretty good history lesson. Because if you like this, then check out Godflesh Street Cleaner. And from there, Work your way up. Check out Swans, Cop, Filth, and especially Swans. Public castration is a good idea. But just what you get on here is seriously pure, no pun intended, but pure God flesh worship done right and by members of another just amazing band in coffins. And Seriously, like coming from the mortuary of darkness to something of this much of a fucking like tribute, it's awesome. I, in my opinion, this is like the way a fucking side project is meant to sound. Like it's so good that it's its own fucking entity. Like they added their own elements to the already perfect perfect Godflesh formula and it works out and what they came up with right here is just pretty much a dick tease and that's three tracks up until your limit drops or if your limit al already came out I'm not sure I just know that the alternative version on here was recorded in 2015 and the full length is coming out either already in 2017 or later on this year. But you have just some straight up God flesh worship to look forward to. I'm going to put the link below if you want to check out the Light Mania tape. And if you're a fan of God flesh and just, you know, industrial crushing music in general, you are going to definitely want to check out the link on Bandcamp for this little EP and definitely enjoy the shit out of it. Again, this is totally worth $6.66, so get on this. Ooze Puss, Light Mania tape. Get into it, from Japan, on Transylvania tapes, and we have been listening to Ascended Dead's Abhorrent Manifestation on Dark Descent Records, and Invictus Productions, killer California based death metal. So fucking good. And Ooze Puss again, awesome Japanese god flesh worship. Get into this. So thanks for watching, and yeah, real quick, I will just show you the art, hopefully without a glare. But yeah, you have the exact same font as god flesh, and just some awesome artwork this is just an awesome tape and i can't say a bad thing about it i love this type of stuff so yeah i think you guys will like it too especially if you're a fucking god flesh and early swans fan if not i mean it's still worth a listen i'll put the link below thanks for watching and hails